Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Enjoying a pipe and a cerveza. We're gonna just sell good today. Don't know why. Doesn't matter. Enjoying a bowl. For, um, it's the first time I've had this tobacco. Really good. Come highly recommended to me. And um, I've had it for about six months in a jar. But it's from Watch City Cigars. It's called Ahab's Comfort. And it really is a pan, Penzance-like crumble cake. I'd go so far as to say you could almost blind taste test this. It'd be tough to pick this out between this and Penzance. Only difference is you can get this readily and not have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So I think it's four seventy five an ounce, which isn't the cheapest pipe tobacco on the market. But if you buy an eight ounce bag of Penzance for a couple hundred bucks, you're pushing twenty five dollars an ounce anyhow if not a little bit more so and now my inner nerd I should be able to do that math in my head but today not so much oh 25 I nailed it I guess I was right so I guess that would make the question, is Penzance five times better than Ahab's Comfort? So, first bowl into it, I would say not nah, a chance. Ahab's a pretty good, pretty good tobacco. Really nice Latakia. 60% Latakia. It's got some white burley in it. It's got some Virginias, some stove Virginias, all that other junk in a crumble cake. But the, the latter key, it really comes out to play. It's a really nice blend. Can't complain about it one bit. Anyhow, things have been busy here at Casa de Buckeye. Between Mrs. Buckeye and I both working full time and keeping the house going and all that other jazz going to school. Oh gosh, you name it. But she didn't come here to hear all that. What else is going on in North Carolina? Hot, hot, hot still. We're not getting any break. We tried to camp last weekend and it was just too miserable. We spent most of the day in the pool, which was nice, but other than that, we packed up early the next day and came home. We're gonna try it next weekend. Our neighbor's gonna do a half a hog. He's got a big barbecue pit he's gonna pull down. We're hoping, I'm hoping to go. I get my schoolwork done this weekend. I've got a project deal presentation. Should be pretty easy though. I could probably get it done tomorrow. And um, then we can spend Labor Day down there. Labor Day weekend, it's not too hot. So, it was gonna be too hot and too rainy this weekend, so hot rain, no thanks. Anyhow. Other than that, you know, there's not much. Oh, there's plenty to talk about, but I'm not really not really in the mood to talk about all the polarizing subjects that are going on in the country right now between riots and people shooting people and people defending themselves and uh, yeah, yeah, NBA and sports and everything else. Too much, man. Don't care about it. I'm actually getting to the point now where, okay, professional sports go away for good. I don't care. 
I wouldn't miss you one bit. I think that's one thing COVID's taught us is we don't need the entertainment we thought we needed. Movies, all that other stuff. We don't have to have it. So. It's been interesting to say the least. But I didn't tell you I was smoking the uh, 317 and 315. It's a print shape. I kind of dig this shape. Savinelli prints. It's a shorter bowl. Longer stem and uh, it's nine millimeter filter. It's a good clenching pipe. I don't usually clench a lot, but this one is a really good clenching pipe, which I, uh, I'm enjoying today with this Ahab's Comfort. Hmm. Yeah, that's good flavor. So Watch City Cigars, I believe they're in Framingham, Massachusetts. I know they're in Massachusetts. Let me see if they're Framingham or not. See how high right? Mm-hmm. Framingham, Mass. WatchCityCigar.com, where you can find them. They have some really good blends. They're Simply Red is really good. If you like uh, a good... Um, Red Virginia that's close to I've never had the McClellan 5100 but I have had the Cornell and Deal um, Red Virginia limited edition it blows that out of the water I found the Cornell and Deal limited edition to be real scratchy and kind of rough around the edges it's going to probably be good in about five years so it's in the cellar just getting age but that's simply red after about a year that thing's really good If you like Red Virginias, it's an acquired taste. They got their place. Anyhow, folks, just wanted to check in, see how you were doing. Doing all right here. Getting by, getting by. Working every day. Uh, I might try to pop on and do a cigar review later. My stepdad sent me a, a, a pretty cool gift. In fact, he sent it last month. So we couldn't get together for Christmas this year. So <clears throat> he he held the Christmas gifts he had and mailed them in July. So it was a Christmas in July, which was kind of cool. But he got me a real nice set of these uh, Gurkha cigars that are, if I'm not mistaken, bourbon barrel aged. Come in a set of five in a glass tube. So I might pour me a... Pour me a, a little bit of bourbon and sample that and rate that cigar. It's a nice looking cigar. Anyhow, everybody, be well. Enjoy your Saturday. If you've had Ahab's Comfort, drop me a link below deck or a note below deck. Would love to hear your thoughts on it. Did you like it? Did you think it was like Penzance? I tell you, this will give Penzance a run for its money. And you can get it. So, if you're curious about Penzance, and you've never tasted Penzance, swing by, get yourself a couple ounces of Ahab's Comfort, and you're going to be, you'll know at least what Penzance is like. Because this is pretty doggone close. And I don't know if I could pick it out of a blind taste test. How close it is. Really smooth. Really good Latakia. Good stuff. Anyhow, have a great Saturday. We may or may not check in with you later. We'll see. And uh, be well. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.